worked on Wall Street as an equity trader for a long time, and now I'm home with my kids. I have always been into cars. I grew up with a father who loved antique cars, and from a young age I was out with him uh, polishing chrome and figuring out how to change a distributor. And, uh, it was a natural progression for me to go from there into some sort of motorsport. The Rally Aisha de Gazelles is a nine-day all-women's off-roading event that runs across southern Morocco. A typical day at the Gazelle Rally starts with uh, Dominique Seurat, the owner and manager of the event, walking through the tents, crying out, Bonjour! Hello! Good morning! And you wake up at 4, you are uh, in the breakfast tent at 5 for a meeting, compulsory meeting, and then at 6 o'clock you're on the starting line. And you are starting armed with the coordinates and the location of your first checkpoint, which you have plotted on a map that, if you're lucky, it's from the 60s, it might perhaps be older than that. You have already handed in your cell phone, your GPS, anything electronic gets out of your possession for 10 days. You never see it. Uh, and you've got to get from the bivouac where you start to that first checkpoint with that old map, with your compass. You have some pencils, you have some rulers, sometimes you use the sun. And once you get to that checkpoint, you then get the information for the rest of the day, which will take you through six to eight checkpoints. The goal is to get from checkpoint to checkpoint in the shortest possible distance. It's not a speed race, so you're not going for time, you're going for distance. But that means you need to look at the map, you need to anticipate the terrain, you need to decide if you're gonna be able to cross it and how long it will take you to cross it. If it makes sense to detour around, take the extra kilometers, but save the time so that you can get through all those checkpoints because every checkpoint you don't reach comes with a penalty. So the way to succeed is to get every checkpoint and do it as straight as possible. This year my navigator will be Sabrina Howells. She is an actress based in Los Angeles and she has competed as a navigator at the Gazelle Rally twice in the past, uh, 2013 and 2014, and I'm looking forward to working with her. She's got some good experience and I think we'll be in great shape to tackle the expert class. After I competed in the Gazelle Rally in 2011, I came back and I had about three months that went by and I said, okay, I need to do it again. And I knew that the terrain there was really varied and really challenging and a large portion of success in that competition is having a good vehicle and being able to know how to manage it and being able to handle the terrain that you want to handle. So I kept kind of coming around to Jeep and thinking, okay, a Jeep is, you know, number one, it's the, an iconic American off-road vehicle, but it's also suited to so many different types of terrain. But there were probably a few things that could be done to enhance its performance. Not knowing a whole lot about off-road, I went to the internet and there are a million Jeep forums and one name kept popping up as having equipment that was durable, that respected the OEM engineering, uh, you know, and that just made a lot of sense for the vehicle, and that was American Expedition Vehicles. I have a Jeep, uh, it's 2012 Wrangler JKU uh, Rubicon, that was built for me by American Expedition Vehicles, and uh, that's basically as I compete with it. There's really nothing else that's been changed with the exception of uh, some safety items. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same Jeep that anybody could buy and drive out of a dealership. In Australia, I competed in something called the Australasian Safari Rally, which is a seven-day race across Western Australia in the format of the Dakar. And uh, I had a great time there. Um, we showed up, two American women in our Jeep, which is not the typical vehicle, and uh, it, we were a bit of a sideshow in the beginning. And we were, you know, smiling and happy, and everybody thought it was cool that we showed up. And we would roll into the bivouac at the end of the day, and guys would come rushing up to us are you okay? How are you doing? You still going? We're like, yeah, everything's great, having a good day. And I think after the third or fourth day, I realized there's got to be a betting pool somewhere. And somebody's figuring we're going to crash, the Jeep's going to fall apart, you know, something's going to happen. And we made it through the entire competition, did not break down, did not have a single penalty. I ended up winning not only our class, vehicle class, but the entire production class, as well as winning the Dakar Challenge, being the first woman to ever do that. So the fact that I went at high speed over the terrain that I did in that vehicle pretty much makes me believe I can do whatever I want with it and it'll hold up.